In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert units using dimensional analysis. Hi, I'm Kelly, and welcome to my channel all about chemistry. It's often necessary to convert units from one system to another. To learn about converting units within the metric system, click the link in the description below. We convert units using a problem-solving system called dimensional analysis. In this method, we use conversion factors to move or convert one unit to another. A conversion factor is a ratio of equivalent values that have different units. For example, 2.54 centimeters is equal to one inch. It's the same amount of length, but just measured in different units. We can use conversion factors to cancel out one unit and introduce a new one. When units are present in both the numerator and the denominator, they cancel out. Here's a list of conversion factors that we're going to use in today's examples. As we work through our examples, we're going to keep in mind three questions. Number one, what is my goal? Number two, what conversion factors do I know that can help me? And number three, how do I get there? I'm going to show you both one-step conversions and two-step conversions. A ruler is 12 inches long. What is the length in centimeters? So in this problem, our goal is to convert inches to centimeters. How we do that is by using the conversion factor one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. It's the same amount of length, just with the two different units. We start out by writing our given 12 inches. Then we multiply it by our conversion factor, putting inches on the bottom and centimeters on the top. Then we have one inch, 2.54 centimeters. Note that two conversion factors can be written from one equivalence statement. We use the one that causes the appropriate units to cancel out. For this example, we want inches to cancel out. So we're using the conversion factor with inches on the bottom so that they cancel out. The inches cancel out and we're left with centimeters. So we multiply across the top 12 times 2.54 and we keep the centimeter unit. That simplifies to 30.48 centimeters. Let's take a look at the significant figures. We have two significant figures in our given, so we're going to round our answer to two significant figures. The four rounds that zero down, so to round we get 30 and we write a decimal to show that that zero is significant, and our final answer is 30 centimeters. has a mass of 35 pounds. What is its mass in kilograms? So our goal is to convert pounds to kilograms. We're going to do this using the conversion factor. One kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. We start with our given 35 pounds and we multiply by the conversion factor, putting pounds on the bottom and kilograms on the top. 2.2 pounds and one kilogram. Our pounds cancel and we're left with kilograms, which is our goal. Then we divide 35 by 2.2 and we keep the kilograms. That equals 15.9 kilograms. Let's check our significant figures. Our given has two significant figures, so we're going to round our answer to two significant figures. The nine rounds the five up, so our final answer is 16 kilograms. Let's try some examples with two-step conversions. This means that they require two conversion factors to cancel out the units and reach our goal. How many gallons are in 12.8 liters? Our goal is to convert liters to gallons. For this, we have to use two conversion factors. The first one is one liter equals 1.06 quarts. The second one is four quarts 
equals one gallon. Yeah. We're going to start with our given, like always. So 12.8 liters. And then we're going to multiply by our first conversion factor, putting liters at the bottom, quarts at the top. So one liter and 1.06 quarts. That cancels out our liters, but we're not finished yet. Now we have to convert quarts to gallons. So we put four quarts at the bottom and one gallon. Our quarts cancel and we're left with gallons, which is our goal. Our ones cancel out as well. So we're gonna simplify 12.8 times 1.06 divided by four. And we keep our gallons. So that equals 3.392 gallons. Now let's check in with our significant figures. 12.8 has three significant figures. So we're going to round our answer to three significant figures as well. The two rounds the nine. So our final answer is 3.39 gallons. How many kilograms are in 908 ounces? In this problem, our goal is to convert ounces to kilograms. We do that with two conversion factors. The first one is 16 ounces are equal to one pound. Our second conversion factor is that 2.2 pounds are equal to one kilogram. Starting with our given 908 ounces, we use our first conversion factor, putting ounces on the bottom and pounds on the top, 16 ounces to one pound. Our ounces cancel, but we're not finished. Now we have to convert pounds to kilograms by multiplying by our second conversion factor. We put pounds on the bottom, kilograms on the top, 2.2 pounds to one kilogram. Our pounds cancel, we're left with kilograms, and that is our goal. To simplify, we have 908 divided by 16 times 2.2, and our unit is kilograms. All of that equals 25.79 kilograms. Now let's check our significant figures. 908 has three significant figures. Since that zero is between two significant figures, it is significant. So we have to round 25.79 to three significant figures. The nine rounds the seven up. So our final answer is 25.8 kilograms. To check your understanding, try this example and leave your answer in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to keep learning chemistry with me. Stay positive and keep learning.